Woofus pricked up his ears. He could hear a strange growling sound. Who was growling at me? He wondered, sitting up. Rumble, growl. The sound came from somewhere below. Rumble, growl. Woofus waited. He was ready to jump at the growler. Rumble. There it was again. Oh dear, exclaimed Woofus. It's my tummy. It is growling because it is lunchtime. Woofus needed to find some food. Mama Dog had gone off with her human for some work. Woofus decided to go and see what the other animals were having for lunch. Maybe they will have some milk for me, he thought. Woofus ran along the road till he saw Dum Dum Donkey. What are you having for lunch, Dum Dum? asked Woofus. I'm having some juicy grass braid, Dum Dum. Would you like some? No, thank you, said Woofus. Grass is not for me. Woofus walked on till he met Pinky Pig. What are you having for lunch, Pinky? asked Woofus. I'm having some crispy turnips, grunted Pinky Pig. Would you like some? No, thank you, said Woofus. Turnips are not for me. Woofus trotted on till he met Rumpus Rooster. What are you having for lunch, Rumpus? asked Woofus. I am having some delicious corn, crowed Rumpus Rooster. Would you like some? No, thank you, said Woofus. Corn is not for me. Woofus was really hungry. He saw Crawly Caterpillar. What are you having for lunch, Crawly? asked Woofus. I am having some fresh green leaves, said Crawly Caterpillar. Would you like some? No, thank you, said Woofus. Leaves are not for me. Woofus suddenly saw Kiki Kingfisher diving into a pond. What are you having for lunch, Kiki? called Woofus. I am trying to catch some fish, chirped Kiki Kingfisher. Will you catch some with me? No, thank you, said Woofus. Catching fish is not for me. Just then, Woofus heard Mama Dog calling from the kennel. It's Mama, he barked happily. Woof, woof. She must have got some lunch for me. Woofus ran home as fast as his little legs could carry him. There was a big bowl of warm soup waiting near the kennel. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Woofus lapped up all the soup. This is the best lunch for a puppy, he said curling up to sleep beside his mother.